What happened on the on the first deep one? It seemed like you pulled up, pulled your hands down. It, was it not in your reach? Uh, which one was that? For first deep one, I I felt like there were two deep ones. One where it was outside and you were inside. The other one was maybe a little over you. How'd that go? Oh man, which one did yeah. Didn't get it. Overall, offensively, I mean, it seemed like you guys had some rhythm in the first half. What do you think happened in the second half to slow that down? Right now, we haven't been that good in the second half all season. We got to still trying to figure it out. What goes into figuring that out? What you guys have gotten to get better in the second half? Practice better. Yeah, I don't know. Do you find yourself at all like getting in that situation where you're pressing or, or trying too hard as opposed to allowing the game to come to you? Uh, personally, yes. Uh, just trying to figure it out right now. Just trying to figure it out right now. You've been talking about kind of practicing through it since camp. Is it taking too long to practice through it? I mean, what else I'm gonna say? Can I say? <laughs> Yeah, go to practice, get better. That's where we get better at, right? Would you say this is one of the most frustrating experiences you had with football? Yeah, this is a weird start, yeah. Is there anything that you could look back to and say, okay, like, I got through this situation. Here's how I'm going to stand it for No, I just got to hit the field, get better with my teammates, and get better. That's it. That ain't nothing to it. You frustrated? You angry? You mad? What, what, uh, what's the right thing to do? No, I'm frustrated with myself today. No, I ain't mad, angry, anything. What would you use as, as a typical word like, to describe, you know, the emotions that you guys have at this time of this adversity? Um, you said it was a word? Yeah, what word would that be? You have to be resilient. Resilient. Yeah, but how would you describe the emotions that you guys have now? Like frustration, anger, what would you? Uh, go back to work. Uh, it's that simple, just go back to work. For sure. are, are there any times that, that like, you look back to Football-wise, that you could reflect on and say, like, I leaned on this to get through it. And I could use it to get through this current adversity. Yeah, uh, I grew up on Section Eight, so you know, for me, yeah, life itself. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah. my mama blind, my daddy dead, man. So you know, yeah. football fun. Yeah, right. fun every time I'm at practice and on the field. You know? Yeah, yeah. And like, we know your your story off the field. That's why I asked on the field. Like, if you ever had any. Adversity like this, like to this level, you know, one oh, and I had real life adversity. You know, yeah. So I went to college, you know. So, <laughs> shit, I, was, I was born, uh, born, born against all eyes, man. You know, product of, of the war on drugs. What do you say about the to all these younger guys in here that maybe don't know the ups and downs of how the NFL can be? And sometimes you're gonna take a loss like this. I mean, my first shot was two and fourteen. Uh, you know, the year before that, Houston I think was a playoff contender. The year before that, they was a playoff contender. Two thousand eleven to two thousand thirteen when I got drafted. So, uh, you know, I remember the year we had all the expectations of. It going deep into the playoffs like they did the previous two or three years. And uh, we went two and 14. So, you know, for me, I learned fast. Man. It always gets better, uh, but you gotta look yourself you know, in the mirror. You can't point fingers, you know, so. It's, they ask me, just, you know, see what you can do better. You know, don't blame anybody else. First I said, man, the penalties killed that. You know, so it's hard to uh, achieve uh, converting on third downs and things like that when we playing kind of sticks. How much of a turning point was it when you went for the fourth and two there and didn't get it, gave them the ball and plus there? Yeah, it hurt. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, it hurt because we put them in field position. We we, we, we allowed, we gave up three points without their defense, I mean, offense getting them on the field, you know, and, and that was one of us. But uh, everybody believed in the call, like myself. We all believed that we would get it. And, I mean, in another situation like that going forward, I'm sure we'll probably do that again. You know, but we have we have a great defense, man. So we're gonna lean on them. But at the same time, we got to be more dominant on offense. We got to be more attacking. We got we got to go out there and, and let it on and put it on them. A bigger role today, and, and I can make you make some plays early on. Uh, I mean, officially, what Friday or okay. Saturday? But I mean, just feeling how practice was going throughout the week, I kind of just had a feeling. So you know, just gotta stay prepared regardless. What was the feeling early on? You guys had a lead, had a little momentum, and then. Obviously, things change. What, what have you, what's wrong with the second half? I mean, you know, first half we feeling good, obviously, but you know, the second half, uh, 
you know, we just got to get more stops, you know, find a way ourselves to get that ball in the end zone. So, you know, maybe I'm going to go look back in the film, see what I can do more to, uh, you know, get my hand on the ball, put it in for us. How much on them, some of the play nights they have, how much maybe on you guys, maybe not the plays? Uh, you know, man, anytime they make a play, <clears throat> I don't really think it's anything they ever did. It's really uh, always something that we did, whether we uh, do wrong in that play that could have prevented that. So that's how I try to approach everything. How did you assess how you did a, you had a couple breakups? So how would you kind of look back when you look back at your day? How you think it went? Uh, you know, good plays, but you know, not enough to make an impact on the scoreboard. That's all that matters.